I, I was using emojis on uh, deal stages and ticket buy flights, but in a property, that's a that's a new one. Look, this is not a new idea. Uh, I've seen it before, but I will say I pinched this from Stuart and actually Kyle Jepson a bit on LinkedIn. I'm very rarely on LinkedIn. I actually went in the other day and then I saw this. I actually got some, I actually got some value from LinkedIn, Ian. <laughs> No, I'm always bagging out social. It was actually good. So I had tip to Stuart for this and I've linked to his post on it. I think he works at Arrow or a product. Anyway, very focused on workflows. He used emojis in workflows. Anyway, I've pinched the idea from him or, or maybe others. Sorry if I haven't given credit to the right people. Uh, but look, it, it just benefit from this. Great idea. So look, here's an example of using emojis in a property. This is a drop down. And then you can see there, we've just got some emojis. You can grab them from getemoji.com and then you can use them in views. Here's an example in the screen uh, shot in the show notes of using them in views. And then the question of course is, well, can you filter on them? Yes, you can. So you can filter on those because that's something I was always like, how do you actually, you know, compare and use them and try? HubSpot takes care of all of that for you. So just a nice little tip there. If you can use it, you can probably think of lots of ideas. We have clients that are very um, keen on setting up RAG, uh, the red, amber, green dashboards. And so this is a way that that can be enabled. Uh, so yeah, use it and yeah, nice one. Have you, have you ever used any of these in properties, Ian? Mm. Or uh, You said you'd use them in deal stages. Correct. But not actually Not in the property. Yeah. So this is nice and visual and so I like it. I think I'm going to go implement a few. Yeah, nice.